Right, we're going to do a Shack update update. It was a week ago I made a video on YouTube, uh, my budget Shack tour, budget basic Shack tour. I've done really well. I've got over a thousand views in a week. That's a lot more than what I normally get. I normally get about 100 to 300 on a good day. And, um, yeah, it was basically just showing the crap, the crap I had for radios at the moment. I had a couple there, all the handies up there, but I've knocked them over. I've got another hand up there. So this is these radios are all going to be put away. I'm keeping that as an old classic radio, putting them all away safe. Don't want any of this stuff floating around. Don't like you. And we're just going to have... We're going to try and sell that. We might sell it. If it doesn't sell, we'll keep it. The ICOM IC718. Um, we're going to keep the IC, uh, the IC, the CRT, just for repeaters. We like that. It's a tiny, cracking up radio. Uh, there's a new one. Uh, the AC817, we're keeping that. We do like going portable with that. Um, we've got the Wonder Wonder Mark II Widebander. We use with a banana plug. I've made some good contacts with that with speaker wire. Good contacts with that with uh, Ampro antennas on the car. Um, but yeah, big change around. I'm going to keep the PSU, obviously. Um, but yeah, today this turned up the ICOM 7300. Um, I couldn't justify buying a, such a radio. I just don't have time for the hobby. I do not have the time I want to spend on a radio. Uh, so I thought, sorry, I'll buy it, the radio I want, and then I'll find the time. <laughs> so, we might be putting up for sale. Um, don't message me, comment me. It's going to be up for sale for about 450 quid. It's as new. It looks like new old stock, and it's got DSP. Um, it is in fantastic condition, as is this. The uh, ICOM 7300 turned up today. Did want to treat myself. Um, last seven years have been hard financially paying off a loan <laughs> that's been paid off. So we treat ourselves. And to go with it, we've got the old desktop microphone here. Um, cracking, these buttons are handy. You can turn it off, but the buttons still work for changing the frequency. Uh, but when you turn it, oh, so that doesn't work. You have to turn it on for that. Takes two AA batteries. Fantastic thing. Been great tuning up and down the band with that today. Enjoying it. Um, love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, when we've got it all organised and it's not so dark, get some daylight in here. Might even try and get the CRT mic on and the new ICOM 7300 in there with a tuner. I am going to be on the lookout for a bigger tuner. No, I'm not. Yeah, I was going to. That was it. I was going to buy a bigger tuner. But I can only use... As of next year, 25 watts. That does plan at you, so I'll just stick with 20 watts. I'm not really bothered about power. Um, again, looking at the contacts I've made on 4 watts and 5 watts and less. Yeah, no, I don't need 100 watts. Well, you, it's nice, but don't need it. Um, so, yeah, I'll do a full review on that later. There's plenty more to watch in the meantime. It's a popular radio. There's lots around. But I'm going to get rid of all these radios. Uh, try and sell that one. Put that one that one uh, in a box or here nicely and rearrange it so it all works and it's not so chaotic as it has been today and just getting it all out of the boxes get the destructions for that look at it oh. um, but luckily that's the microphone box it is easy to work you just push buttons and it works um, I've had a couple of microphones before I've had a few Kenwoods um I like Yasu, I like ICOM, I couldn't choose. People are like, oh no, I'd only have Yasu, I'd only have ICOM. I don't care. The experience I've had on radios before, all the top brand radios are equally as good. I couldn't choose. Um, I narrowed that down from three radios. Again, I bought this the, the day after I made my update video last week. And I was looking at the 705, 10 watt QRP rig. Uh, the 901, 9100, I don't know, something with a three, three and a half inch screen, but I decided to go with this. It's a bigger radio, bigger screen, and uh, it just yeah, it ticked more boxes than the other options. Um, and it is literally the same size as that, if you are wondering. They are exactly the same size. Pucker job. Right, we'll do a, a video later on in the daytime when we've got daylight, and this is tidied up. And remember, folks, it's not a Jeep, it's a Land Rover.
73 for now.